the number one cause of fighter pilot fatalities is controlled flight into terrain, or CFIT. For three decades, the Department of Defense has been working to prevent these mishaps. The Air Force Research Laboratory has the solution. Auto GCAS is constantly comparing the aircraft recovery trajectory with the terrain profile generated from onboard digital terrain elevation data. If a threat is detected, an evasion command is issued. If no action is taken by the pilot, the system assumes control. The recovery maneuver includes an abrupt roll to upright, followed by a 5G pull until clearance is assured. The system also incorporates a pilot-activated recovery system, PARS, that gives a disoriented pilot a way to manually engage an automated recovery. The pilot can override auto GCAS at any time. In November 2014, an F-16 was engaged in a strafe run. The pilot had an estimated 2.4 seconds to react for a 5G recovery. At 1,960 feet above the ground, the low-altitude warning sounded. Less than a second after being warned, Auto GCAS went into action, pulling the plane out of the dive. The second activation occurred in January 2015. Two aircraft were engaged in a high-aspect basic fighter maneuver, approximately 19,000 feet over water. Both aircraft, while in rapid descent, passed each other at just under 11,000 feet. Shortly thereafter, one aircraft attempted a vertical maneuver, but was too close to the water. Auto GCAS engaged and negotiated a successful recovery while the aircraft was in a negative 145 degree roll angle and just 2.6 seconds before the intended maneuver would have proven fatal. Feel recover! Feel recover! Feel recover! Feel recover! Feel recover. Feel recover. Feel recover. Feel recover.